Hey there, Sart here. Um, I wanna just show you one more uh, clear team. We're gonna go earth element this time. Uh, a common question I, I, I usually get is, you know, who can I replace um, Wilk with? Cause you know, he brings the 90% defense break, which is really, really, um, really valuable in dark visions because the bosses have no passive stats. So higher breaks do considerably more damage. But if you don't have uh, Wilk, or, or any of the other like 90% defense breakers. Uh, Tulian can definitely work uh, on an earth team because he does bring an 89% defense break and a 160% earth in peril. Um, so Tulian is, is actually quite nice for dark vision uh, teams, especially earth uh, earth teams. So um, I also, I pulled a, a, a Yuffie back on her banner. Uh, uh, she actually came up on like the free weekly uh, the free weekly poll back when her banner was active and, and happened to pull her. So, um, yeah, I, I grabbed, uh, I grabbed her shards out of the VIP shop and stuck her in the shard dungeon and just got her EX2, uh, literally the, the day after this past maintenance. So I was, I'm kind of excited to give her a try and see how she does. Um, spoiler alert, she's not, uh, she's not as good as, as Cloud. Um, but she's, she's fairly comparable, I would say. I mean, the, the, the modifier is technically the same. The LB mod <clears throat> is technically the same as Cloud. Um, but for whatever reason, she's just not quite reaching Cloud's, uh, Cloud's level. But it's all right. She, she does fine. She does fine. She's a very comparable damage dealer. And on Earth teams, she is, she is great. All right. So um, let's take a look at the gear real quick before we go in. Um, so in her normal form, you don't really need to gear her with anything, just her, her TMR, STMR, that's all you really need. Nothing too special there. Um, in her Brave Shift form, uh, she's built for full-on damage. So she's got her STMR, which is really nice because her, her normal form Limit Burst does a 45% throwing weapon uh, in peril, which is really nice. I think that's the highest weapon in peril of any kind in the game right now. So, so you definitely want her STMR on her. Um, that's that's or you know your strongest throwing weapon <clears throat> that you have for sure. Um, and then otherwise, yeah, just Magister's gear for the chain cap boost, ruler's helm uh, for <clears throat> for the static stats. Um, and then just some high attack gear. She doesn't get the same boosts that Cloud does from, from Tifa's STMR. That's only for Tifa and for Cloud. So, um, you know, if, if you have them, great, put them on there. But I just gave her some high attack uh, stuff there um, anyways um, because she doesn't get flat stats from those. She doesn't really need it though. As you can see, she's already got, you know, once if you get her to EX2, um, you know, she's got 11... Uh, 11k attack so she she hits a pretty good attack step um, as it is um, and then just yeah you got to cap up her um, her LB damage her TDH her human killer she hits human killer pretty easily so she just needs the one materia there um, helm mastery so that she can actually equip the the ruler's crown um, so that's that's pretty important because otherwise uh, I don't have a lot of high attack hats so have to give her helm mastery for that uh, and then yeah Knights of Grand Shelts card or you know whatever the best card you have is uh, for her so capped up on LB human killer TDH she is ready to rock and roll um, and my Esther hasn't really changed from any of my other videos here um, except for she doesn't have the Magister's gear obviously because I had to put that on uh, on Yuffie so indestructible light there I think she's just shy of Oh, no, she's got 300 human. All right, that's good. So she's capped up on everything. Good to go. Excellent. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I put Guy's belt on her for the extra human killer. So she's ready to rock and roll. All right, um, Sukiko is here, obviously, for the Earth in Peril field, but also to deal some damage, because she has a pretty strong LB. Um, and so, you know, it, it is a uh, an evocation LB, but it's 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 fairly strong. Um, but she's really here for the Imperial Field, which combined with um, with Tulian's 160% uh, Imperial should give us a 200% total Imperial, which will be quite nice. Um, 
So you don't really have to worry about gearing her normal form and her brave shift form. You'll notice I did give her the Dark Visions sword. You don't have to. You can give her her own STMR. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. Um, but I figure since I have the Dark Vision sword, I might as well give it to her. Because we've got Sylvie on the team for the sword in peril. So um, that, that's what I did. So you have to give her like Fryavia's expertise. That's Fryavia's STMR so that she can equip the sword. But otherwise, just put her own rod on her and, and that's perfectly fine. And then just some high mag gear. Now mine is EX3, uh, so she doesn't need chain cap boost. Um, if yours is not EX3, you'll need to give her some form of chain cap boost. So keep that in mind. Um, we do have the, the card from the Ayaka Step Up banner, so I can use that, uh, that mag boost. If you don't have this, but you have dark, uh, but you have dark rains TMR magic boost plus, just put that in her normal form so that she can boost up her mag. All right. Um, <clears throat> Sylvie is pretty much the same you saw in the previous ones. Um, uh, just make her passive provoke with death resist. Um, you see, I gave her the lone swordsman card. This is so that she can chain with Esther on the burst turn. Because we're going to need somebody to chain with with uh, with Esther. Obviously, you could chain with with two B, but we need that extra chainer to hit our uh, our chain count score. So, if you don't have Lone Swordsman, it, it don't worry about it. You can have um, you can have Esther give Sylvie the uh, what is it that that skill that she has that gives her the, the extreme Nova frames. All right, this is just you know this is just easier. Because um, then I don't have to worry about it. You can also give her any of the Extreme Nova chaining materials that you might have. Um, now, if I was really concerned about getting, like, absolutely squeezing every last bit of juice out of this, I would try to build Sylvie as, like, a TDH attack unit so that I could take advantage of Lone Swordsman. But uh, I'm not that worried about it. My Lightning team, I think, is by far my strongest team. So I'm not going to go out of my way to make this team do, do better than that one. Because I don't think I can. All right. Uh, Tulian, um, he needs to have these two accessories. These are free accessories that you get from doing the Season 4 story. So Vidar is important because that does uh, allows him to do Jord Kicks, which does the 160% Imperil, and then activates the 89% Defense Break starting on Turn 4. Um, and then, after that, he's going to sing... So after Turn 1, he'll do that. Turn 2, he's going to start... Uh, he's going to use Zidane's STMR, and then on Turn 5... He's going to use the ability on this one called Health and Greep, which does the 88% Spirit Break, and that is so that Sukiko can deal, you know, relevant damage here. Now, if you saw my previous clear, you could put Zahn in place of Sukiko. Like, if you don't have Sukiko, you could put Zahn in place of Sukiko, and he can spread the the 250% killers to everybody and you might actually that might actually be better than this but I'm just going to show you a, a totally different strategy and you can kind of mix and match from from my you know all, all the videos that I put out all right um to be pretty much the same build you've seen in all the other videos just full-on damage as much as you can shove in there um yep makes just make sure she's capped on everything yep she is good to go and her Brave Shift form doesn't really matter. You can just build her however you want. Just make sure she's got Tyvus of Spirit. Um, and good to go. All right, so let's get in here and see how we do this one. All right, so we'll go ahead and start off with Yuffie. She can just go ahead and do her normal form LB. If your uh, Yuffie is only EX1, then you can take this turn to do uh, to do her LB fill, um, or you could even have you could even have Sylvie fill her up on this turn. Um, e either of those is fine. So you know an EX1 Yuffie can still work in this situation. You just have Sylvie fill her up on turn one. All right, Sukiko is going to I think on this turn we're just going to do quicksand. All right, um, Esther will go ahead and fill up her LB. Um, and then we'll do True Charge Blade on 2B. That's for the human killer for everybody. Uh, <clears throat> we will do 
Jord kicks on this turn. Sylvie. We'll do our usual defense, offense, and clever paladin strike for the sword in peril for Sukiko. All right. Okay, so she summoned the beast. That's all right. We're just going to kill it. All right. Um, Tulian is going to go ahead and do I wanted to go with you on this turn. All right. Sylvie's going to shift. Do Elemental Vines. Compassionate Knight. Burgeoning Defense. All right. Esther will shift. Oops. Esther will shift. Do her usual Electromagnetic, Storm Guardian, and True Storm Brand. And don't worry, we'll get rid of the Lightning Imbue next turn, just like, you know, just like we did before. Um, so don't worry about that. All right, uh, Yuffie can actually just guard. She doesn't do anything anymore until turn four, where she sets up for her burst. So she is good to go. Um, 2B will do, we'll just do another True Charge Blade. Um, to make sure that we kill the curl. Oh, whoops! I meant to, <laughs> I meant to triple cast that. No worries. We'll just have, um, we'll just have Sukiko do uh, quicksand. There we go. All right. Yeah, this is starting to get a little uh, little repetitive for me, but uh, <laughs> I'll try to remain excited uh, about this. Dark Visions just doesn't really excite me very much. Um, all right, so Esther's going to do her um, uh, her LB. So we'll two B. Let's let's let two B do hers first, just so we're not dealing too much damage to the boss. Um, like I mentioned before, there are no like threshold attacks you have to worry about. You just want to make sure you don't obviously kill the boss before <laughs> before you get to do your burst. All right, um, Yuffie will just go ahead and guard her again. Um, we'll come back and do... So if you were using rods, make sure you use Blessed Omomori on this turn for the rod imperil for Tsukiko. All right, um, I am going to just do Purging Mandala Earth because that's all I really care about. Okay, so that puts up the uh, Earth imperil field. Now Sylvie can come back. All right, we'll just do Double Clever and Marion's Blessing Earth. She likes summoning the beast this time. Hmm. All right, um... So Sylvie will do her LB. Esther is just going to do. So on this one, uh, we got to make sure that we do the uh, the large sword in peril on uh, what's her name <laughs> on Ruby Rose, and then we'll do a double uh, bolting impact to make sure that we kill the uh, uh, that thing, that curl, <laughs> that thing. Uh, two, we can just do Tyvus the Spirit, Sukiko. I'll go ahead and shift her back and do Cherished Gift for the Mag Boost. -da. And then we will do Elemental Burst Earth, Fill LB, and this is what you get for Crossing a Ninja, which does her big mod buff to her LB. All right. Um, let's make sure I'm doing all this right. Yep. Yeah. Okay. There you go. All right, so we are now ready to rock and roll. Tulian can now do health and grip. Sylvie will do blazing red flash. Esther will do her LB. 
Yuffie does her LB. So you see we've got 89% defense, 88% spirit break, 200% earth in peril. Very nice. So we'll do destructive earth. Um, 2B will come back to do her LB. All right, and we should be ready to go. Now, the nice thing about Yuffie's uh, Brave Shifted LB is that it's a tag chainer. Um, and so, you know, we'll start Tsukiko first because hers has a bit of a wind up and then we'll do uh, Yuffie and 2B together and then Sylvie and Esther. You want to make sure El Esther's the last person to go so that you don't erase the earth and peril field for everybody. All right, so we'll do Tsukiko. There we go. All right. That looked pretty good. I think we got everybody in the chain there. And let's see how we did. Yeah, 10.9. Not bad. Not bad. Not as good as my lightning team, like I said. But, um, I mean, if this is what you got, then you work with what you got, right? So that's just another example of how you can get a decent score without Riku on this current Clash of Wills. So let's see... Uh, 2B is the winner, of course. Um, you know, Yuffie's not doing bad. She's doing 3.2 billion. So, I mean, she's not, you know, she's not weak at all. Like, she's really strong on Earth teams, for sure. Um, but, yeah, that, there it is. So, 2B doing 3.9. That's actually a low roll for 2B. So, um, we could have definitely done over 11 billion on, on this one if 2B had actually rolled uh, closer to average or above average, but yeah, 2.1 is pretty typical for Sukiko, 1.8 for Esther, pretty typical. Um, yeah, Yuffie is, is usually, I'd say that's probably average for, for Yuffie. I think she can get upwards of like 3.5 maybe if she has a high roll, but, uh, that's pretty typical. So I, I would say if you have this exact team and exact gear, you're, you could potentially get over 11 billion on the damage score. So, uh, that's, that's where we're sitting with this team. All right. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. I think I'm, I'm pretty much done with this dark visions. Um, I might reroll my lightning team to see if I can get over 13 billion. Cause I think I can get over 13 billion. Um, now, th now that I, I remembered to put a form of chain cap boost on my cloud. Uh, if you saw my lightning team, you, you might have noticed that I didn't put any kind of chain cap boost on my cloud, and so I, I gimped him uh, by accident. Um, I've been rerunning it, and it, it's, you know, damage variance is a cruel mistress, and it has not been treating me well. Um, I know cloud can do, on my lightning team, I know cloud can do 5 billion. I've seen him do a 5 billion damage on that, uh, on that damage cap turn and so if everybody rolls high i can do over 13 billion with my lightning team so i'm just i'm just going to be spending the rest of, of the week re-rolling my lightning team until i get that 13 billion and then i am going to forget dark visions exists and, <laughs> until the next one comes around so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully this was helpful to you guys and i will see you on the other side